Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the HDA-935 3 input, 1 output, HDMI switcher, and eARC audio extractor and converter. This product offers several functions, the first of which allows you to connect up three different HDMI media sources to the product, as well as a single monitor, and then very easily select between those three media sources by tapping the button on the top of the unit or using the included remote control and having that selected media content sent to the monitor. The second function will actually strip the audio component from that media that's being sent to the monitor and convert it if needed to HDMI audio, eARC, analog, or optical SPDIF audio so you can pass that along to a soundbar or a home stereo system for better quality audio. Now as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the HDA935 and explain the connections and indicators. I'll list the features and functions the product provides, and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how simple this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you open up the box, you'll find the HDA935. You'll find a single 5 volt DC 1 amp power supply. This end plugs into a standard wall outlet. The other end has a micro USB connection on it, which plugs into the back of the unit and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find a really nice infrared remote control. You can use this to make your selections. And you'll find a connection cable that converts a 3.5 millimeter analog connection to a set of RCA connections that you can use with most older home stereos. Also included is a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other really important information you'll need to understand about the product in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the product, list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do the demonstration. Inside the kit, you'll find the HDA-935, a single DC 5 volt 1 amp power supply. This end plugs into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a micro USB connection on it, which plugs into the back of the unit and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find an audio conversion cable included. One end has a 3.5 millimeter analog connection. The other end has two female RCAs. You can use this to connect up older stereos or amplifiers to the product. You'll also find a remote control. That'll make it really easy to turn the unit on and off and select between the inputs that are being sent to the output monitor. So this is really nice to sit back away from the unit and make those selections. Now the product features a high impact plastic case which makes it lightweight and very durable. On the top of the unit, you'll find a button here that you can use to select between the three inputs, you know, to decide which one of those is sent to the monitor. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find a full-sized HDMI port labeled input number one. You can connect this to one of the media devices you'd like to share on that monitor. It's a standard HDMI connection. To the right of that are three indicators and then four more indicators over here. As you plug devices into the inputs, they're being checked for resolution and making sure the connection is solid. Once that's been verified, an LED will light up here letting you know input number one, two, and three are good. To the right of that are indicators for the stereo output. You have a choice between two channel stereo, 5.1 or 7.1, and I'll show you the button in the back where you can make that selection. The unit can automatically detect eARC as well when you plug it in. So if it detects that, it'll light that LED, letting you know that it sees an eARC connection. On the bottom are four over feet, a couple of holes here where you can mount this up off the ground and out of the way if you choose to do that. On the rear of the units where you'll make all your connections, starting in the left, you'll find an audio select switch. That's where you decide if you want to be in two channel 5.1 or 7.1, and you can walk through those by tapping that. To the right of that is a DC input port, and that's used with the power supply. That's a micro USB connection. You'll plug it into the wall, plug the other end of the cable in there. This is the audio output for analog, the audio output for optical, a soundbar eARC output, and a TV eARC HDMI output. Here's input number two and input number three. So the front is input number one for a media device. This is your second and third media device. These are your outputs that you can use to connect to your amplifier or to your TV or soundbar if it's eARC or HDMI. And that's pretty much it for the unit. The O-Ray HDA-935 is compatible with most modern HDMI media sources, including streaming devices, computer systems, DVD players, game consoles, and media players like Roku. The product's features include full support of 4K ultra-high definition media content. It provides connection through HDMI audio, eARC, optical, or analog standards. It is both HDMI 2.1 and HDCP 2.3 compliant. 
It provides automated eARC detection and audio support for DTS HD as well as Dolby True HD standards. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, because the HDA-935 is really two products in one, it's a three input single output HDMI switch, as well as an eARC audio extractor and converter, I'd like to separate this demonstration into two sections. In this first section, I'll demonstrate the switch functionality, and then I'll demonstrate the eARC audio extractor and converter functionality. So for this first section, I've set up three small media players over here. Two of them are displaying a still image of a computer and a game console. The third is looping a video, which we're enjoying right now on the display. I've connected all three of these up to the HDMI input ports on the product. Input number one, input number two, and input number three in the back. I also have a monitor set up over here. I've connected that up with an HDMI cable to the HDMI output port in the back of the unit. This happens to be an eARC display. Now all I have to do to switch between these three different inputs is tap the button on the top or use the remote control. Right now I'm on one input. Let me switch it to the next one. You'll notice the display blank out and that's because this product is checking the resolution of the input source that it's switching to and it's gonna make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture on the monitor. There's the second input. Here's the third one. And again, it blanks out for a second because it's checking the resolution to make sure it's going to give you the best possible picture. And that's a real advantage of the product because you can mix and match different resolution media devices and still get the best picture on your display. And it really is just that simple to use it as a switch. Now, if you stay tuned, I'll demonstrate the eARC audio extractor and converter functions next. Now I'll demonstrate the audio extraction and conversion capabilities of the HDA935. And before I start this portion of the demonstration, I'd like to remind you to always use the highest quality HDMI cables you can find, at least cables that are certified for HDMI 2.1. And that's important because the ARC, the eARC, and the CEC functionality require high quality cables to work with consistency. You might get by with less expensive cables, but you're gonna have all kinds of inconsistent performance where CEC may not work, you may not have audio transfer to your soundbar, so it's always best to start with the highest quality cable you can find. Another thing to keep in mind is you'll wanna make all of your connections before you power up your equipment because the ARC and the eARC handshake take place at boot up on your equipment. And once that handshake takes place, you can't be plugging cables in later on expecting ARC or eARC to work. So right now as part of this demonstration, I have a widescreen monitor here that has an eARC connection on the back of it. I've connected a cable from there to the HDA935. I've also connected another cable from the output to my soundbar, which is also an eARC product. Now, if you look in the front of the unit, you'll see the eARC light is on, and that's because the HDA935 can recognize equipment that has the eARC standard attached to it. So I know that I've got eARC equipment ready to go. On the monitor, I've got a video that's looping, and that's what I'll use as my test media. Now, when I first turn it on, you're gonna hear it coming through the soundbar. That's the soundbar right there, and that's the HDMI eARC input. Now, the nice thing about using the eARC or an ARC connection is that it's gonna transfer the audio through that audio return channel functionality to your soundbar. The other important thing is any media you play on your monitor will play through the soundbar as well, and you'll have complete control with a single remote because of the CEC functionality. So right now, I'm not adjusting the volume on the soundbar. I'm adjusting it on the TV, and you can hear it's going up. It's actually controlling the soundbar, so that's pretty nice. Now, the other benefit of the HDA935 is that it not only provides HDMI audio output, but it has a digital optical output, which is SPDIF, and it also has an analog left and right output. So to demonstrate those, I'll disconnect the audio component from the HDMI, and I've got an optical SPDIF cable right here plugged into the soundbar, and I'll plug that directly into the back of the unit here, into the SPDIF connection. And once I make that connection, you'll hear the audio come through that soundbar. Takes a second for it to adjust, and there it is, so I can turn it, well, I'll lose control. <laughs> I'll lose control because I've disconnected the audio. So let me turn it up here. There we go. So again, because I'm not connected over HDMI, I've lost the CEC function, so the remote doesn't work through the TV to turn up the soundbar anymore. So it's really important that if you have the option to use the ER connection, that's always the best way to go. It gives you the highest quality audio and gives you a ton of functionality with the CEC function as well. All right, the last thing I'd like to show you is the analog output on this because this unit can not only extract the audio that's passing through it, but it can convert it as well. So right now I'm listening to optical. 
Let me disconnect that. Here I have an older amplified speaker that has a three and a half millimeter uh, analog connection on the back of it. And there's a connector back here for analog. So let me plug that in. And you can hear it's playing there. Now the really interesting thing is that the unit converts all three of them at the same time. So I can use my HDMI, ARC or EARC, I can use the optical SB diff connection, or I can use the three and a half millimeter analog connection. So this unit is really like a Swiss army knife of audio extraction and conversion that allows you to use pretty much any piece of audio gear that you have available to amplify that sound and really give you that theater-like experience. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the HDA-935 3 input, 1 output, HDMI switcher, and eARC audio extractor and converter helpful. It really does provide an all-in-one solution that allows you to very easily connect up three different HDMI media sources to the product, as well as a single monitor, and select between those HDMI sources by tapping the button on the top or using the included remote control and having that media sent to the monitor. The second function, where it can actually strip the audio from the media stream, convert it if needed to HDMI audio, eARC, analog or digital, so you can pass it along to a home stereo or a sound bar for better quality audio, really makes this an incredibly nice product. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.